Hello, welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed how a database management system simplifies the development of application programs by relieving them from data management tasks. To accomplish that, application programs and the database management system need to agree on a set of instructions or language that application programs will use to ask the database management system to carry out all these data-related actions. Fortunately, there is a standard. The SQL, or SQL, the Structure Query Language, is a common language through which data can be defined, manipulated, and queried. Even though each brand of database management system has its own set of instructions with minor differences, the basic syntax of SQL is the same for all relational database management systems. Thus, application programs will use SQL instructions, or instructions from the DBMS-specific set, in addition to the instructions of the programming language in which they are coded. Therefore, the instructions that the application program needs to issue to access its data through a given database management system are quite similar to those that would be required if a different database management system were used. This helps to understand an interesting fact. Software companies, while developing management information systems as software packages that they plan on selling to multiple customer companies, often create versions for several database management systems. For example, in the case of the complex integrated enterprise management information systems called ERPs, most ERP vendors, such as SAP, support multiple relational database management system alternative products. In order to better understand that, let us look again at our simplified model encompassing the application programs, the database management system, and the database itself. The application vendor, SAP in this case, would develop and maintain the application programs and the structure or model or schema of the database. A database management system vendor, who might be the same as the application vendor or not, would develop and maintain the database management system, even though its license would sometimes be sold for simplicity through the application vendor. Obviously, the actual data contents of the database would be the actual data of the user companies. Thus, if a company wants to buy and install an SAP ERP license, Besides selecting the computing platform and operating system, it will have to choose the database management system it prefers among those supported by SAP. For example, if that company already uses the Oracle database management system for other applications, it might choose to run SAP using that same database management system. Yes, SAP does support Oracle's database management system for its ERP, even though SAP and Oracle are arch rivals in the ERP market. If, on the other hand, the company wants to save on database management systems licenses, it might want to base its SAP ERP on other less expensive database management systems, such as Microsoft SQL or SAP's own Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise, or ASE. To summarize, we have analyzed the issue of inconsistency and how normalization can be used to eliminate redundancy and therefore inconsistencies within the database of a management information system. We have discussed SQL, the standard structured language that application programs can use to interact with the database through the database management system, and how some management information system vendors allow their customers to choose among several database management systems. In the next video, we will discuss the concept of big data and the challenges and opportunities it creates. Thank you. See you there.